I will show you how to make your voice sound vintage inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's dive in. I've got some audio here. I've got a recording. At the moment, I don't look or sound vintage at all. Hello there. This is me with a rather vintage voice. I'm obviously trying to put on the accent of a old school British broadcaster from the late 1930s, uh, but it needs a little bit of magic. And first of all, in my effects window here, I'm actually going to add some video effects. There's some really cool stuff uh, under stylize. I can go and like sort of posterize the uh, outlook so it kind of adds that vintage style, if you like. I can also go ahead and uh, open my Lumetri presets and uh, maybe I'll get monochrome faded, something like that to really Ah, yeah, that's looking... Hello there. That's definitely sort of looking the part of a sort of older style video, but I'm not here to do video. There are other tutorials out there for that. Let's focus in. Let's dial right in on the audio. And so I'm going to go to my audio track here down below. Let's make it nice and big, and let's throw on a few different bits and bobs. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and search for my FFT filter. Just type FFT, and under Audio Effects, Filter and EQ, there it is. Drag and drop it onto the audio clip and click Edit. And really, there are some really good presets here. Uh, and you'll see de you'll see Cassette Tape, Frequency Response, Kill the Mic Rumble. Let's start with Cassette Tape. OK, so that's fading off some of the high end and some of the low end. But there are not quite as many presets as you'd find over in Adobe Audition. And one of the best ones in Audition is the On Hold EQ. I can replicate it here really easily easily by simply putting a dot on here and putting a dot on here and then simply dragging this audio down this side and making it a square cutoff and the same over this side dragging this audio down here and a square cutoff so we just got a narrow band of frequencies let's play hello there this is me with a rather vintage voice broadcasting in the late 1930s. Okay, it's sounding much more vintage, and we can add as much or as little of the frequency as we want. So if we want to open it up a little bit more. Hello there. This is me with a rather vintage voice. See, so I've just increased the amount of frequencies there. We can have a curve or a sharp cut. The same over this side. I can just introduce a bit more bass. Broadcasting in the late 1930s. Okay, that's sounding pretty good. Now, if I want to add some secret source to it, I might just distort it ever so slightly because recording equipment back in those days uh, wasn't as great as it is now. Distortion under audio effects special there, right there in my effects panel. And again, you'll see it over here in effect controls, edit, and we've got all kinds of great stuff. Green Room Angus is actually a great preset. Let's try that. Hello there. This is me with a rather vintage voice. Okay, you can see I'm running into the red now. I'm distorting a little bit, so I'm just going to move down my volume automation line by 4 or 5 dB. It's broadcasting in the late 1930s. Okay, we've nearly got the magic there in place, but the final little step, I'm going to go to my favourite free sound website for free sound effects called Freesound, and I'm going to search vinyl. Okay, vinyl. Let's search for that. And really, if we don't want to attribute at all and we want to use for free, Creative Commons Zero is a great license. Let's play this first uh, result here. Oh, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to go ahead and download the high quality uh, audio file of that. Drag and drop it into Premiere like so. And then over here on Audio Track 2, I'll stick that vinyl recording down there. Look, it's the perfect length actually for me. And now we have, with just a few steps, FFT filter, distortion and vinyl from Freesound, a great vintage recording. Hello there. This is me with a rather vintage voice broadcasting in the late 1930s. How vintage do I sound? Hopefully, I sound really vintage. Now, if you've watched this far, you're obviously really into Adobe uh, Premiere Pro and audio, so I suggest you go and watch my other videos. Uh, they're popping up now. One is all about how to add a voiceover to your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. Go watch that now, and let me know your questions in the comments down below.